Dun 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 dun. Yum. Mm -hmm. I'm like just sniffing your armpits back here. Ow. In today's episode, we'll be trying some viral TikTok Indian recipes. This is a part of my Around the World series. We did Vietnam last time, so do check out that video if you haven't already. I'm a girl who loves her carbs, so I definitely need to try out this naan recipe. Homemade naan in your kitchen with no tandoor oven. Into the flour, add the salt and mix it together. Into two cups of water, add in some sugar, add in the yeast and let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. Look at how nice and bubbly that is and add it straight into your flour, yogurt and mix that together until it's fully combined. Once it comes together into a ball, dump it out under surface, add in some oil and knead that in until it is fully combined. Cover and let it rise for an hour until it doubles in size. Check out how much that rose. All right, let's give that a nice pat. Ooh, look at that. Take some chopped garlic, place it on top of a ball of the dough and roll it out. Brush the bottom with water. Heat up a tava on a high flame and place down the naan. And flip it upside down then flip it back over and top it with some cilantro. Check out how insanely delicious and buttery that looks. All right, let's give it a try. I'm excited because it's my first time trying to make Indian recipes at home. Mm -hmm. Let's tackle this naan recipe. We love bread. We love carbs. We love flat bread too. Okay, so I have 500 grams of all-purpose flour. I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. I feel like that was Half a teaspoon, a little bit more. I have my yeast mixture here. It's already bubbling up, so I'm gonna add it to my dough. Then I have a quarter cup of yogurt. Give that a mix. In our household, Alf usually makes all the dough, the pizza breads, the banana breads. I feel like you're the dough master. I'm the master. You can see? Wait, you're so tall. I need to like adjust. I'm like just sniffing your armpits back here. Not sure if he's playing with slime or he's actually kneading. Is it that humid in here? I didn't even add all the water. I just bought the pre pre made nun. <laughs> I should have bought the frozen stuff, man. This is the first five minutes of the video and it's taking the, like an hour. I forgot to film this, but Alfred added some oil to the mixture. Boom. I'm gonna cover it and let it rise for about an hour. Are you guys ready for the dough reveal? Whoa! Wow! Oh my god, that is so cool. Ooh! <laughs> we'll just divide this up. Garlic. Got my roller. Now guys, I don't have a tava, so I'm going to attempt to cook the naan bread on my pan and I'm just going to flip it over to cook the other side. <gasps> I hope it puffs up, I hope it puffs up. Please puff up. Oh, it's looking like it's doing something. I feel like that side up. is puffing up. Yeah. Don't, don't. You might ruin the puff. Oh. Wow, Lila, look at this naan bread. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, it's stuck on me. Oh, that's good. Wow. Check that out. Doesn't that look so good? Okay, I feel like we all need to break a piece of this. It's quite warm, but not scorching hot. Cheers. We put butter and a bit of coriander. <gasps> so good, okay. Cheers. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. So we good. haven't even dipped it in anything and it's pretty good already. Mm. It's fluffy on the inside. Can you see that? I feel like we did a pretty good job considering we did it with a pan. Mm. Mm. Yum. It's so good. Surprisingly, it was pretty easy to make. Like the, the ingredients were quite simple and you can get it pretty much anywhere. So if you're looking for a flatbread, recipe try this naan bread out you can't go wrong with bread double thumbs <laughs> double thumbs. bread we should make t-shirts i love bread bread is life <laughs> this next recipe is a crowd pleaser i feel like everyone orders this at an indian restaurant home cooked food is just more superior make it yourself this is the only recipe that you need marinate cubed chicken thighs with the ingredients on the screen and let it chill in the fridge for an hour heat up a pan with some oil and add the marinated chicken don't fully cook the chicken and take it out and into the same pan add more oil and butter once the butter has melted add a cinnamon stick and bay leaf toast it for two minutes then add onions and once the onions change color add ginger and garlic paste some spices salt and cook for another two minutes then add the tomato puree and cook it off for five minutes before adding in a can of chopped tomatoes take out the cinnamon stick and bay leaf and blend the mixture add the sauce 
sauce back into the pan along with cream and the chicken and let it simmer for 10 minutes. Garnish with a little bit of cream and fresh coriander. I love butter chicken, but this is my first time making it. I've got my diced chicken thighs here. Into it, I'm gonna add in a tablespoon of garlic paste, two teaspoons of ginger paste, one teaspoon of salt, quarter cup of yogurt, one teaspoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of coriander powder, two teaspoons of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of mixed curry powder, and a teaspoon of paprika. Oh my God, that smells so good. I'm gonna let this chill in the fridge for an hour. I'm ready to cook my chicken now. I'm gonna take out the chicken, then it's going to help me. Whoa. So now we need oil, butter, a cinnamon stick. I had that stick. Where was that stick? There's a stick. Put the bay leaf in. Garlic and ginger paste. I feel like you need to lay out all your ingredients beforehand. Turmeric powder. I'm gonna skip the chili powder. I just put a bit of paprika in because just in case Lila tries some of this. And then I need tomato puree. Almost forgot to add the onions. It's not too late. She woke up from her nap and she smelled all the amazing spices. Are you eating your finger? Huh? What does a cat say? Yeah. She's just grown up right before your eyes. I added in the diced tomatoes. And then that cooked for a little bit and now Zen is blending it, but she did remove the cinnamon stick and bay leaf. Now it's all blended, I'm gonna add in my cream. I'm gonna pop my chicken back in. Da -da 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 -da. Look at it! I am so ready to dig into this butter chicken. Alfred! I put it in a little bowl for us to share. Oh. I've already pre-dipped my naan bread. Okay. I kind of may have left it in there for a little bit just to soak up all the flavors, but Alf, here, grab, grab a piece of bread. Oh, you need to get a piece of chicken on there too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, oh my god. god. Oh my god. That's so good. The nice. chicken is so tender. The sauce, oh my god. You just want to keep dipping. Wow. Mm -hmm. I can't speak, I need another dip. Mm. Wow. Amazing. Yum. So much better than the food court stuff you get in Australia. Oh my God, so good. I'm sorry, I just need to go for a third. Ooh. Mm. I feel like I can speak for the team on this one. It's definitely a double thumbs. Yes. 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 Here's a recipe for chana masala, a staple in North Indian cuisine. This delicious mouth-watering chana masala. To a pan, add in some cumin, three cloves of garlic and onions and mix that together with the masalas you see on the screen. Next, we're gonna add in about a cup and a half of tomato puree, ginger, and then blend that all up till you get this beautiful paste. Finally, add in a little bit of water, your chickpeas and enjoy. I have my pan. I need some oil. In goes a teaspoon of cumin. Teaspoon of turmeric, my garlic cloves, and a diced onion. Oh my God, those spices smell so good. Add in the cloves. I'm putting in a teaspoon of chana masala, which is like a spice blend. A teaspoon of the garam masala. Oh, I feel like I should have opened everything. There's so many spices that I'm like <gasps> feeling flustered. I'm gonna add in the ginger and then the tomato puree. I'm just gonna use my hand blender to mix all this up. It smells really good guys. I'm gonna add a little bit of water and my chickpeas. Give it a good mix. I need to turn my hood on. Usually I try not to, so the audio is good, but guys, I need to turn the hood on. Mm. Ow! Oh. She's like stabbing me. Chana masala is so pretty. I added a bit of cream and then garnished with coriander on top. Alfred, you here? You ready? Roll call. He's already here. He's like ready, I'm man. Ready, ready You're for ready. My next one. I've got two pieces of bread. You gotta get some of the chickpea. Oh wow. Okay. 
Ready? Mmm. Mm. The spices in this one are more like apparent. Oh my god, it's like a party in your mouth. There's so much going on, but it's really good. Like the spices just mix so well together and it just makes this like really hearty curry. And I love that it's just chickpeas. It was really easy to make. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. This one definitely has more of a kick, guys, but it's not like overly spicy or anything. We're just gonna keep eating. This bowl is gonna disappear ASAP. Mm. Alfred, what do you rate this? Yeah, that's good. Double thumbs. The butter chicken was definitely more filling. This one has a lot more spices. The flavors just jump out. And I mean, the chickpeas just make it really easy. And so I guess it's perfect for vegetarians. Up there on my list too. This next recipe is a dessert drink that's perfect for all you mango lovers. Is a mango lessi more like a smoothie or a milkshake? Either way, I'm obsessed and here's how I make them. All you do is scoop out the flesh from one super ripe mango into a blender, add plain yogurt, some milk, a little bit of honey, the seeds from one cardamom pod and some salt, blend it up until it's smooth and then pour it over ice. The full recipe is up on my Instagram. I hope you try it. Alrighty, so I've got my ripe mango here. Then I'm gonna pop in some yogurt. This drink, you need like the sweetness of the mango and a little bit of that sour yogurt to make it a good mango lassi. Add some milk, a little bit of honey, a little bit of salt. Didn't know there was salt in this. The seeds oh, of this yeah. little cardamom. Oh my God, it smells so good. Ooh, mm. It's just a hand mixer kind of day, guys. It's thick and creamy. I'm gonna give it a quick taste here. Eh? Mm. Wow, I feel like it does need a little bit more yogurt though. Perfect. Now we're gonna try um, ooh. mango. <laughs> oh, she clapped. She likes it. Mmm. Ah, she likes it. <laughs> we got Lila's approval. I'll drink out of this cup. <laughs> that cardamom pot is very fragrant. I don't know what Al thought he had to just excup it. It's not the same as when I go and order a mango lassi. I don't know. Maybe I just feel like this is a lot more fragrant. Usually it's a little bit more subtle, so maybe it's my fault. I shouldn't have added that many seeds in it. But in saying that, it still tastes like a good smoothie, but it just doesn't taste like an exact mango lassi that I recall. It's not bad though. I wish there was more mango flavor though. Actually, I feel like we needed like a super ripe mango. Our mango is ripe, but like, you know when it's like very, very- Super duper like- It's got that deep orange. Yeah. That's what you need to give it that like really sweet mango flavor. I feel like this is nice. It's good. It's a nice mango smoothie. I would give it one and a half thumbs mm. up. I'll Just... give it a one. It's still good. It's still very good. I finished it <laughs> we have come to the end of this video guys these Indian recipes have blown me away we had a full-on feast today and I can't believe we made all that that's insane it's like restaurant quality it's restaurant quality guys so you guys need to try it out we were missing our third thumb man but we just got to do this don't forget to thumb this video <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button. It's just like a little button down there. It doesn't take a lot of effort at all. We are waiting. What cuisine shall we try for our next video? Let us know in the comment section. I'll pick the top five and then we'll do a little poll. That is it from us. We shall speak to you guys next time. Bye. Bye. I hope you can smell the spices. <sighs>